Aloha goddess, I hope you are doing well. So today I just wanted to show you my wash and go routine. So let's get started. All right, goddess, so I'm not gonna talk a whole lot in this video because you can clearly see what I am doing, but the main goals, make sure you don't put a whole lot of the conditioner, leave-in conditioner in your hair or this curl defining cream, but you do want enough to where your hair is coated. You just don't wanna overdo it. And then also just making sure that all of your hair is coated evenly, so flip it around, divide it into sections, I do a lot of finger detangling, spreading through, just to make sure it's all evenly distributed. And make sure you get it on the ends as well. Not taking a whole lot of this curl cream either, but again, make sure all of your hair is coated. I know sometimes when I get lazy, I tend to just focus on like the inner or the outer parts of my hair and then I notice a difference when the humidity gets to it. So just take your time, make sure it's all coated and you'll be good. And this raking motion is the key to the wash and go, okay? Like it's the key. I think the coconut milk, this is what I use a little bit more of just because it is frizz defying. So if you want to add a little bit more of that, go ahead. And then this Denman brush, yes, where have I been my whole life? Like, helps to define curls. You can use it in wet or dry hair. And then this gel was only $3. Um, you can get it at Walmart or Target. Doesn't have any alcohol in there, um, but does have aloe, I believe. And I tend to use more than what I think I should use, which ends up helping out and working in the long run because instead of the curls, the wash and go lasting a week, usually will last about two weeks or 10 days if you use more gel than you think you need. So you know when you use a lot when your hair feels heavy, but then when it dries, it's all good and this gel doesn't flake, doesn't turn white, none of that nonsense. So just make sure you are detangling all the sections to make sure the curls will be defined when you go ahead and add the gel. And again, I'll say this again, whenever I use small sections, it always turns out good. So just don't rush it guys. Make sure you're getting the gel on the ends as well and throughout the whole length of your hair. And go in and kind of define some pieces finger detangle if you need. It's basically the same process throughout all of your hair, but my best tips, small sections, rake it in like this. lots of gel, and do not towel dry your hair. After you're done washing conditioner, just wring out the excess water with your hands and then go in with that first product, which was the Cantu um, Repair Cream. You can scrunch it up a little bit, but when it will dry, it will shrink up a bit anyway. So don't worry about your curls not looking curly, because they will. And then just go in and finesse any pieces, any curls that you want a little bit thicker or with more hair, just to give it some like extra definition and volume and whatnot. And then I am actually going to be blow drying my hair after this just because I ride my bike and so if it's not dry, the humidity, I don't know what the humidity will do, but I'm not taking any chances. So I blow dry my hair, but if you can avoid that, I totally would. Because I do have some split ends and I think it's from blow drying it, um, but I just am not taking any chances. Usually when I blow dry it, it takes about 20 minutes. 
And that's the finished look. Just pull out the curls so they elongate. And then over time it will do this. And this is about three days after the wash. So the hair does continue to get bigger. And that's the back. I kind of don't pick it out when it's first day because I know it will expand over the next, you know, seven to 12 days. So that's it for this video, goddess. I hope you enjoyed it. And if it has served you, go ahead and give it a share. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.